Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. A little bit of everything Homestead. I'm Rhonda and today we are going to pop into the Home Depot, see what they have on clearance and see if I can find some plants for my driveway garden. I thought I would take you guys along and we would poke around and see what we can find. They have a whole line of plants right up here and then behind me they have a little hoop house and a whole parking lot full of plants. So let's go up here first. I'm pretty sure these are, oh, they say right on it, vegetables and herbs, perennials. Let's scoot in here and see what we can find. Cannas, cannas are not perennials in my area. Lavender is beautiful. They have some different colored lilies. They have some beautiful purple foxglove. I don't know what this little white plant is. Let's see what it's called. It is called Savory Calamint. Hmm. Never heard of that. It's pretty though. I have some more just yellow pretty and then over here I don't know, what is this little purple plant? Let's see if we can find the name Beard Tongue Rock Candy Pink Penstemon Can you see that? Am I? Oh there we go, right here. Sorry, the sun was in my eyes. Oh, that's pretty. So these little pink guys, I think I'm gonna get two of these. Look at that color. I like the darker pink ones. I don't know, these ones look lighter and these ones look darker. So I think I'm gonna get two of the darker ones. Okay, I picked through the bunches that they had there and I got two that are pretty similar in size. I couldn't find any with the buds on yet, so these will be beautiful next year in the garden. So over in this area, they have some chives, they have um, some Amsonia, Flax, salvia, more flax back there. And they have these little one gallon, I don't know if you can see it in the sun, but they have purple veronica. I think I'll grab two or three of these too. They're full sun, part sun, 14 to 16 inches tall. Let's head back into the parking lot area. They have 50% off trees and shrubs. So I found the boxwood. These are, let's see, Chicago Land Green Boxwood Glencoe. I wonder, they're full sun. I wonder if I could cut these to make them look, let's back up here. Like if I could cut that little thing to look like a ball, you know, to shape it like this, to go in front of my hydrangeas. But where my hydrangeas are, they aren't, they wouldn't get full sun during the day. They would get probably four hours. So I don't know if, one. Can you see it? There. I don't know if those would work. I think I'm going to have to come up with a different plan. 
You guys, the rose section literally smells so good. Look at this little one. Look at how pretty. Look at that little bud. Oh my gosh. I love that. And then I wonder, it must turn into that once it gets fully mature because look at this little bud and then that little blossom and then this blossom. So I wonder if it changes. Let's see here. Totally hardcore. Campfire rose. Full sun, dark green, glossy. Cut flower, ever blooming. Campfire rose has exceptional cold hardiness, disease resistant, eye catching blooms, which makes a statement that is sure to light up the landscape. Buds with yellow and red tones opens up to semi double flowers of yellow etched in a deep rosy pink. Oh, so it changes colors. Oh, how fun. I think I'm going to get two of these. What do you think? Do you love the color? And then if we walk down here a little bit. Oh, look at this little yellow one. Oh, sorry. Look at that. Oh, how pretty. And the pink one. And back here is a white one. I'm sorry, the shadow and the sun. This is a horrible time to be filming during the day. So pretty. And then over here we have red. They're a little beat up, but I bet you they'll pop back in no time. A little pink one. This white one, it's kind of yellowish white. Oh, pretty. You guys, look at these trees. They are so cool. I wish I had a spot for one in my landscaping. Maybe next year when we build the garage. Oh, how fun are they? What are they called? Do they have a tag? Let's see if I can find a tag. No tags. Oh, aren't they neat? They got some fun grass. Oh, look at how it moves in the wind. Isn't that fun? And then they have some more of these balls, but these are arborvitae balls. I think I saw those at the Walmart the other day. They need full sun too. I'm gonna keep looking, I think. They have rose trees. Oh, aren't these adorable? Look at the blooms on that. Oh, so pretty. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wish you could see the color of these. Look at the coloring of the leaf. The leaf is like dark with red marbling. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. I wonder if I should get trees instead of the little bush. I think this guy, this guy is a tree and this guy is a tree. And I think they're the same. Wouldn't those be pretty in the landscaping? Oh, here's another one. Oh my gosh. They're so pretty. I don't know how to grow roses, so I can't get a bunch of them until I try my green thumb at a couple. All right, I'm gonna stay with those because those I can put in a pot, so. Oh, those are so cute though. Look at the coloring of this plant. Wow. This would be gorgeous in the landscape in the fall. Oh my gosh, what is it called? Sunjoy Gold Pillar Shrub. So pretty. That is gorgeous. Here we got some hostas and a couple of 
peony plants, but they're not on sale. And I think I have all of those. I just don't know the names of them. So I'm going to skip those today. All the tropical plants. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this white one. Put her with some yellow daylilies and that would pop. I wonder if they smell. I'm sitting right next to one. Nope, they don't smell. Oh my gosh, so pretty though. Oh look, they have pink ones. They have the white ones and then the pink ones. Gosh, are those beautiful. Oh. Doesn't it remind you of like Hawaii or like a tropical vacation? I suppose that's what tro tropical plants do. Wow, dark red. So pretty. They don't really smell though. I suppose they make up, they make up for it and they're stunning. Oh, look at that hibiscus over there. I think that's what that is. See it? So I came inside and look at this yellow yarrow and right behind it is pink phlox. You guys, is that not gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Full sun, $7.98. Oh, I think I'm going to get some of these. Look at how pretty it looks with the pink phlox. I love it. I might get one of those flax too. Or two. One or two. I found some Cora Bells. Look at this dark foliage. Oh my gosh. And then this one right next to it. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. I think they're two different ones. Cora Bells. I gotta put my glasses on. Hang on. All right, Corabelle Silver Scrolls. And then this one is Carnival Rose Granada. Oh my gosh. They are so pretty. I think I like the dark one better than this one. Next to that green, look at how it pops. It looks so good together. Mm. I think I'm gonna get two of these. Look at the beautiful echinacea. Wow, look at those colors. And they have some blanket flowers. These are so pretty. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at those colors. Oh, I would love to get one, but that's a little bit too pricey for me. And I think I'm at my $50 limit. But look at all the fun plants. They have some ferns. And they have this little one. What is this? Oh, it's an ice plant. Look at that color. Ground cover. Isn't that pretty? And some daisies. More hostas. Oh, here's some more. Look at that. Wow, that is beautiful. I think I am probably at my limit, you guys. I don't think I can spend any more. Oh, but so pretty. Let's go look at the annuals. Maybe there might be a basket or two that I could secretly purchase. Look at this plant. Is this sea holly? Oh, how fun. Let me see what it says. It is sea holly. Full sun. Look at those little flowers in there, you guys. I think this gets tall, too. Look at that one back there. the color on this is gorgeous. How fun. 
so as I was walking toward the animals, I found these hostas. You guys look at that color. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. It doesn't have any oh, right here. Vigoro? Is that who sells it? Whirlwind. Whirlwind Hasta. Shade. Oh my gosh. Look at that color. I'm getting these two. And look at these little. Look at the color on those. Oh my gosh. Let's put these two together. Look at that. Doesn't it look beautiful? Mm, I love it. Look at these baskets, you guys. Aren't they neat? Let's take one out. Oh my gosh, they're really heavy. It's like a succulent basket. A little spider plant. Oh, if I knew how to grow <laughs> succulents, I would get this. It is beautiful. Here's one. Look at that guy. Isn't he cool? Oh, this would be a wonderful gift to someone. You know that the hard person to buy for? Oh, these are cool. my budget for the entire season so I'm glad I waited until the end of the season to buy all the fun things I definitely went over $50 you guys that was so fun oh my gosh I had so much fun I went over my budget however I have not been plant shopping all season so really did I go over my budget yeah, we'll see what Scott says when I get home. <laughs> now I get to go home, unload this all, and see if I can get it into the ground before it starts raining. You guys, I made it home with my beautiful plants. And I was going to take them out, place them, and put them into the ground and keep this movie going. But I think it's going to rain. So we'll have to do that on another video. So stay tuned. Thanks for stopping in and visiting with me today and watching my video. And I'll see you next time. Bye, friend.